Hey YouTube, Santa Frank here. Today is now January 1st, 2022, and uh, PSA, they opened up the regular um, submission level. It's expensive, and um, I had to, I did a video earlier kind of like talking about are there going to be any cards that I would even send at that price? And I whittled it down. I am going to send in four cards. And I actually made a submission uh, with the uh, regular service level at $100 a card. I know I'm going to get roasted, but I think these cards, the only reason I'm going to send them in at that level is because I think I would get upcharged anyway. I might as well get my cards back quick instead of waiting like a year. So. And that's the only service level that's available anyway. Um, or the cheapest one that's available anyway. But <clears throat> according to PSA, <clears throat> this year they're going to start opening up some cheaper options. So um, I still felt like these four cards would be well worth sending in. And um, so I'll go ahead and do this mission. So we're starting off with this uh, Luminaries. Shohei Otani, this is like the blue parallel, number three out of five, on card auto, awesome looking card. Even though it's a thicker card, I think it could get a 10 or else I wouldn't even try this. But I think it might get it, could possibly get a PSA 10. Um, also, I should have sent this in a long time ago, but I just never did. This uh, Bowman Chrome, Nolan Gorman, orange. First Bowman, number 12 out of 25, beautiful card. Again, I'm pretty sure this has a really good shot at a PSA 10. Everything looks right with it. Um, that's the second card. Third card, of course, probably the prime jewel of my collection right now. Um, this Harrison Ford um, Gold from Star Wars Evolutions. Uh, it's number one out of five. There's, I don't believe there's ever been one of these cards sent in for grading. I think all. Of, I think he only did like five cards for that set. And what I love about this card is the auto is completely on a sticker, and that's kind of rare for Harrison Ford sticker autos. And again, I think it's got a shot. It's a foil card, so it's going to be really tough for it to get a PSA 10, but it's possible. I mean, I think at the very worst it could maybe get a 9, but I just want to get it slabbed. And, of course, that protects it forever. And last one is a card I broke out of a slab, a BGS slab. Um, here's the card. It's a Shohei Otani 2018 Flawless a rookie, pat, rookie Dual Patch Auto, um, numbered uh, 22 out of 25. Just an awesome card. The back. I broke it out of a BGS slab. I never graded it by GBS, G, by uh, BGS, not GBS. <clears throat> it was graded by Beckett. There's the grades that it had. We'll see what it gets with uh, PSA. It had a centering 9.5, edges 9, corners 8.5, surface 8.5, and it ended up getting an 8.5. And what was the killer was the autograph. They grade the autograph as a nine. And I think the only reason it was that is because if you look down there, it goes a little bit onto the silver right there. So I imagine that's what got it to nine. And I'm not grading the autograph with, with the PSA. I mean, it's an on-car autograph. I have no problems with that auto. Um, and it's authentic and all that. I looked at the card. I think it could get a 10, which I think would be a real shocker, but it is super tough to grade thick cards. So I guess I'd hope I get a PSA 9 on it, and you never know. You might get a really generous grader that's like, oh, that's a 10. You know, you never know. Anyway, so that's the submission. Just four cards, uh, but probably definitely my four um, four of my favorite cards in my collection. Eh, this one might not be one of my favorites, but unless he, he starts doing really good in the big leagues. But these other three are definitely um, very much some of my favorite cards in my collection. All right, stay tuned for more videos later.